liver is pulled away. Underneath it lies this white sac, which is called the stomach. To the side of the, the stomach is a red organ referred to as your spleen. And the purpose of the spleen is to uh, remove uh, dead red or damaged red blood cells and remove them from your circulatory system. And uh, in younger children, it actually acts as a storage unit for red blood cells themselves. And in adults, it actually has uh, platelets in it that can be used for uh, clotting and things of that nature. It makes sense that it's red then, right? It's because it, it would be... Uh... Uh, full of red blood cells or dead red blood cells. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the, the structure of it, the color of it, gives away a little bit about its function. Then if you pull that spleen back, you can see all this stuff right here. This is connective tissue. Again, everything is held together so it's not flopping all over the place as you're moving around and jumping and just doing daily activities. So we just slowly pull that away. And pull this up cut this down. You can see underneath here, it's all shiny. Again, that's connective tissue. But this structure right here at the end of the probe, as I move it across, that is your pancreas. It's a little difficult to see, but when you see it up close, I always kind of think of it, it looks kind of like a piece of chewed up gum. And the purpose of your pancreas is to release two molecules. One is called insulin. And the purpose of insulin is to communicate to your the cells throughout your body that they should open up certain channels and allow glucose or sugar into your cells. And glucose is your, your main source of uh, energy, that, or main source of food that your cells use to um, extract energy from it. But it also will release another molecule called glucagon. So when you're uh, there's too much sugar in your cells, you use insulin to, re to, to pull it out of the blood. But when you have low sugar levels, glucagon is released and it sends a signal out to your liver, which has storage units of what is called glycogen. Glycogen is just links of, of smaller glucose molecules linked together in long chains. So it tells the, the, the liver to take that glycogen, that stored unit, to cut it down into smaller pieces and release the sugar, the glucose, into your bloodstream. Now you're going to raise your, your blood sugar levels. So as we move down here, you're going to see, so again, we come back to the stomach. The stomach is purpose is for to start uh, digesting or breaking down foods into smaller pieces. It'll then pass it out here through into your small intestines, which wrap around here. And again, you can see all this connective tissue here. And in your small intestines, digestion continues, but at this point, now you have what is, what is going to happen is you're going to have absorption of usable uh, molecules. And you can see right here, you can see this, this, connect, this, this network here that's connected to large and small intestines. This network right here is called your, I believe it's called your mesentery. And the mesentery is just a collection of blood vessels that are going to attach at various segments of the intestines and it will act as a point of extracting the nutrients from the intestines so it can spread them throughout your entire body. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of these organs here. So I'm going to cut back and remove the stomach. Now you can see up here, there's actually, it's already been cut as I removed the liver, but there's a tube coming down here. This is actually part of your esophagus. See so this, it goes through your mouth. It goes down into your esophagus, and then it comes all the way down behind the lungs and enters into your stomach. Then from the stomach, it goes, again, small intestines, large intestines, and out of the body. So I'm going to start cutting back here and removing the stomach, the spleen, and maybe when I get those out, I can give you a better view of the pancreas. Then I'm going to start removing the intestines. So what I have removed here, again, let's identify this is going to be the spleen. This is underneath it is the stomach. Now here, you can see it. This right here is the pancreas. And individuals who have diabetes, this is the organ that is not functioning properly. 
And then again we have our small intestines, which are all coiled, leading into our large intestines, and then eventually down here to the colon and out through the anus. Again, I'll try to get you to see this connection here. It's hard to see. But you could take this and you could tease this out and you could literally extend your, your small and large intestines. Uh, and it could form a really long line. Mr. Rowan, why would you need such a long system of tubes to, to get this, this job done? Well, digestion is uh, it's, it's a bit of a process, and there are a lot of various nutrients that exist in the food substances, so it's going to go through a series of stages, and every single time it's doing that, it's sort of churning, it's, it's releasing enzyme, digestive enzymes, and it's slowly sort of extracting out the materials. So it just has, needs a little bit of time to, to get through and extract as much nutrients as you possibly can so that your body has enough to continue to function and to um, do its daily processes. So the longer the tubes, the more nutrients the body can take out of the food? Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm just teasing back here so a little bit more of the connective tissue. So underneath here you'll see is you have these uh, two kidney bean shaped types. You also call them kidney beans because this is what the, those beans actually look like, but these are your kidneys and you've got two of them. Uh, the purpose of the kidneys is they act as filters, so your heart will pump blood throughout your body, that pressure will push blood through the kidneys and they have a filter, and that filter is like a, um, not just like a piece of paper that has tiny holes in it, and certain molecules that are small enough can pass through it, bigger ones cannot, and the purpose is, is to filter out impurities uh, from your blood, which is really uh, taken in by the foods that you eat, or your cells themselves are these living, these living uh, units, and they produce waste. That waste then is dumped. It's like, uh, it, it's like uh, your cells are uh, going to the bathroom almost into your bloodstream. Then that is then passed through the kidneys. All that impurity is filtered out. It'll then go through a tube down here, which is called your ureter and it will travel in here into your urinary bladder. Then the bladder will collect the liquid when it gets big enough, a reflex will kick in and it'll signal up to your brain, I need to go to the bathroom to relieve myself. You will then go to the bathroom and the liquid will then leave your body through what is called your urethra and exit through the body. Okay. So that's the lower portion down here and I could take some time here and I will just Remove the kidneys. More of that connective tissue we've been seeing. Mm -hmm. Holding them back there. And you could tell when you saw that, you can see that they are literally connected to the back wall of your body. So your, your lower, in your back portion, uh, lower back sort of almost up toward the, um, the middle back, they sit there. So if you ever get hit in that area, one way to determine if you have damage to that area or not is, is when you go to the bathroom and you, you urinate, if there is any rut, red substances in your pee, then some, there might be damage to your kidneys and it's something to go to doctors and get checked out about. So let me move these. Kidney with my ureter. The tube leaving the kidney to the to the bladder. It's teasing back. Connect the tissue. Use my scissors to snip. I'll do my final snip. Here. So it's one kidney. And here's the second kidney. And you'll notice that what's left over is just an empty, hollow cavity. And that's what your body is primarily made up of, these empty cavities that are filled with all these organs.